Normally I would wait to see if enough people seem to be interested in one of my videos before making a sequel, but this will be an exception. It was pointed out to me that I forgot quite a few characters in the Scandinavia Fighters video, including the dude in the thumbnail who I should have remembered from my childhood fighting game adventures. The first list also wasn't the best in terms of representation, but yeah, it's mostly about forgetting this one dude. So, just so I can sleep again, here's the surprise sequel that no one thought was coming. Starting this thing, we have Eric from World Heroes, the dude that really should have been in part 1. Users Gil Sunloop and Giga, who requested this challenge in the first place, reminded me of him. Debuting in the second entry of the franchise, Eric is, well, from Norway, obviously. He's your typical historically inaccurate Viking, horn helmet and all. He roams the seas expanding the might of the Vikings and, when confronted about the tournament, decided to enter by saying that the Viking pride will not let him lose. A little side note here to tell you about the plot behind the World Heroes franchise. Basically there's a scientist who created a time machine, and is named Dr. Brown, I shit you not, who organized a tournament for various fighters throughout history, cause what else you're gonna do with the ability to travel through time, right? But anyways, back to Eric. His pride is unmatched, but Gaio would love to know he's also a respected family man, with strong love for his wife Helga and for his newborn son. He uses the same fighting tactics the Berserkers use, but also seems to be versed in magical powers from the north, giving him control over glacial water and thunder. As for gameplay, Eric hits hard and has one of the strongest zoning capabilities of the game. His projectile is the most damaging one, as well as the fastest, and it always knocks down. Thor Hammer is an unbeatable anti-air that cannot be air blocked, and additionally his normal pokes are excellent, a lot of them even having auto guard during their startup. To top it all, his flying headbutt attack has high priority and does great damage too. Eric's problems start if the opponent can close the gap and pressure him. Thor Hammer only covers a rather specific distance and he has no answers to air attacks up close. As such, he has bad matchups against a decent number of characters, but those of you who like to play from afar might want to check him out. So now that we're done covering a character I already knew, how about one I wasn't aware of? The second name in this list is Garros from Samurai Shoto, as suggested by Maximum KOF. Well, their stereotypical horned helmet must have told you this already, but Garros is another Viking from Norway. More specifically, he's the leader of a group of Vikings who sail the seas looking for adventure and treasure. Not so much in terms of a creative backstory so far, but it gets better. Many years prior to the game, his wife Agnes left on a trip to another country and never returned home. Hearing that a woman resembling her was found somewhere in a land called Japan, Garros departs with his comrades to look for her and plunder as much treasure as he can along the way. He joined the series in Samurai Shadow Sen, which explains why I didn't know him as I'm more familiar with the 2D titles. He's a big and intimidating guy, but underneath that fearsome appearance lies a man who just wants his family to be reunited again. Garros relies on his brute strength to win fights, but despite appearances, actually has a variety of quick axe swings that can hit people from most ranges. At the same time, however, his axe attacks are usually aimed high, leaving the other parts of him wide open for counterattacks. Players will need to use his kicks and body vaults to launch their opponents in the air for juggle hits in order to attack safely. But enough about that, how about a break from the viking fest this video is turning out to be? Character number 3 is Balga from Battle Arena to Shinden, as suggested by Jiga. Balga made his first and only appearance in Battle Arena to Shinden 3 as an unlockable counterpart to Duke B. Rumbert, with a similar moveset to him. He's a Norwegian knight who seeks to defeat all who stand in his way so that he can honor the name of his family, and is also tasked with eliminating the last heir to his family's sworn enemy clan the Ramberts of France, that being none other than Duke himself. Balga joined the third Toshin Daibukai after accepting an offer made by a man named Abel, who promised him an opportunity to kill Duke if he were to join the tournament and work for his organization known only as Soshiki. 
As for Balga's gameplay, I'm gonna have to throw that question to the comment section, as I am unfamiliar with the game and my research did not produce enough results to come up with anything. I do have an interesting piece of trivia about Toshinden 3, however. It seems that the US and European releases made several gameplay differences from the original, which included making blocking high or low automatic. Pressing back blocks both high and low attacks, instead of having you press back and down to block low attacks as, you know, you should. Whose idea was that? And now it's time to finally add a woman to this list, as the next character is Ruby Hard from Marvel vs Capcom, as suggested by Maximum KOF. Ruby is from Norway, but let it be clear that only her Capcom Fighters Network profile brings this piece of information, so an argument could be made that they're not even the same person. For the purposes of this list, we'll consider they're one and the same, as she's yet to appear in any Street Fighter game, still having Marvel vs Capcom 2 as her sole playable appearance so far. Ruby Hart is a French-speaking pirate captain who has earned a prominent reputation sailing the seas. Following in the footsteps of her father, she travels the oceans as the leading captain of a pirate crew in a flying ship known as Partenaire, French for partner. Always looking for objects with hidden magical powers to steal, she can be seen using several of these during her fights, like a water manipulating book or a haunted chest containing hostile ghosts. Outside her ship, Ruby is an experienced hand-to-hand -hand fighter and employs an anchor and a whip as melee weapons. As for how she plays, Ruby works better as a ground anti-air character, being relatively weak if forced to engage in air-to-air -air combat. Overall though, she's one of the best characters in the game, except for the ones at the very top of the tier list, with quick moves and a very effective zoning game. So off to the last character now, and it's time to do something I have never, ever done before in one of my videos. Add someone from a game that hasn't even been released yet. If you haven't figured out already by this clue, we're talking about Grow from Soul Calibur, as suggested by Orochi Burgiman. Crow is a new character of the upcoming Soul Calibur 6, and he guaranteed his spot in this list when I went to double check his nationality. He's from Norway, but at the time the Soul series is set, his homeland was part of Denmark, so in a way he's a 2-in-1 character that I couldn't miss. The bad part about adding a yet-to-be-released fighter, however, is that there's little to say about his origin and, obviously, nothing about his gameplay, so I'll be counting with the help of the comment section for that. What is known about Gro at the time is that he's a fearsome warrior and member of an organization called Aval, a secret group with origins rooted in ancient times. Its goal is to rid the world of outsiders, those connected with the Cursed Sword of Legend. So, um, that's about it for Gro. There's not really much else to say other than I'm probably pronouncing his name wrong. But in my defense, apparently it's even spelled wrong in the game. We'll have to ask our Nordic friends for confirmation of this, but it seems that no Norwegian or Danish words end with an H following the slash letter O, so that is most likely a phonetic spelling for when the name was translated from Japanese. Anyways, I think that's it dudes. This was the second and probably last part of my list of Scandinavian characters, so I hope now I was able to currently represent fighters from that region. If you enjoy the content, once again I ask you to hit the like button, maybe leave a comment below, and please try to share this with other people. Scandinavia is pretty far away, so I really need your help if this video is to reach there. And for another announcement, believe it or not, I was asked by my friend Felipe Homak to record a song with him. I think that's a mistake, because I'm really not a good singer, but he still wanted to do it, so let's see how it turns out. The video will eventually be up in Felipe's channel, so keep an eye there if you're curious to see it. For now, this has been Edu, the Kemi player, and I'll see you guys later.